Hey kids. Okay, I want to do a quick demo on how to do multiple colored print using the same plate and the same piece of paper, but different poles. So first, I'm going to do a very light line around my linoleum, around my plate, so that I can register this properly each time I go to to line this up with a previous pole. It's really important if you don't have a clear border to know where to put it. If you have a clear border, but I don't because I removed a lot of my negative space, I have to know where to put my plate each time. All right, now I'm going to keep this line very light, by the way, because you don't really want it as part of your design. So I'm going to ink this up with my first color. I'm going to use pink. And I'm gonna put the pink on the plate. And then because it's water-based, I can use um, a damp sponge. I have some water here in a container here, with a paper towel underneath it to just remove the ink from places I don't want it. Like, let's say I don't want it on these leaves. And I only want it on maybe the butterfly and the flowers. I can take it off of these areas. I do want to dry my hands. And if too much time has passed, I can give this plate a really gentle mist little bit of water, really gentle mist. Uh, but I don't think that much time has passed, so I'm just going to print this. Any extra water on your print will be bad. Oh, I do want to get these off. Because it'll make the ink kind of like watercolor, like kind of runny, and you don't want that. All right, so now I'm going to line this up with that rectangle that I made. And I'm going to notice my butterfly is on this side, like up here. That's going to be important for the next one. Now I flip it. I give it a massage. Rub the whole thing, the corners too. And I have the pink only where I want the pink. But now I can clean this off. I can ink it with my next color and use the green. And this time I'll remove it from the butterfly and the flowers. And the dots, actually, I don't want it on the dots either. this cleaned up and I'm going to want to register it which means line it up again with my previous print my previous pull I need a little bit more there which is what that rectangle is for With my butterfly up, otherwise it'll be, you know, upside down. Line this up. Hope for the best, right? Fingers crossed. Flip it. Rub it. Oh. 
and it worked out nicely. Now I have two colors and you can do this as many times as you want and you do not have to finish the print in one day. You can do a color or two and then this can go of course in the drying rack and then the following class you can add more colors. All right, I hope this helps. Enjoy.